What's going on guys? Welcome back to Wristwatch Addiction. I hope you guys are having a great day. It's a beautiful day here in Tennessee. And today on Wristwatch Addiction, we're going to get back to my own collection, watches I've had in the past, watches I currently have. And today we're going to look at a watch that I first discovered when I was watching a Bill Murray movie called The Aquatic Life of Steve Zizou. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right, guys, getting right into it. The Life Aquatic with Steve Zizou. Yes, I know I said the aquatic life of Steve Zizou, but I'm always doing that. I'm always flipping things around. It's not that I don't know what I'm talking about. It's just I get in a hurry. My apologies. I'll try not to do that too many times in this video. But this is a 2004 Wes Anderson film. Very quirky, like all Wes Anderson films. All-star cast, paying homage to this gentleman, the famous Jacques Cousteau. And just like Cousteau himself, who's seen in this photo here, we have the little beanies, we have the blue outfits, we have the entire film crew following him along on his adventures. Uh, this specific adventure, uh, Bill Murray is out to find the shark who ate his friend. And in this movie, he is wearing a Russian Vostok amphibia with what's affectionately titled the Zizu Dial. Available in a lot of cases like this one, but specifically in the movie, it's worn on the Amphibia 710 case. And you can see it here next to uh, Kate Blanchett who also has an awesome vintage piece on during the movie. All star cast, all with fantastic watches. Bill Murray, Owen Wilson, Kate Blanchett, Angelica Houston, Willem Dafoe is amazing in this movie. You can see that vintage piece I was just mentioning here. Jeff Goldblum plays, well, Jeff Goldblum always plays a nut, and it's no different here. Willem Dafoe has another Vostok Amphibia on in this movie. This one, a different dial, different case. Awesome nonetheless. But let's get into this 710 cased Zizu dial that's being worn by Bill Murray. These things produced in Russia by uh, the first Moscow watch company. They're 31 Jewel. It is a Vostok movement. It's a graduated rotating friction bezel, which means that that bezel will turn left, it will turn right. It uses friction to hold it in place. And you can see the 15 minutes of that bezel are done in red, the remainder done in black. And it does have luminous hands uh, on the inside of the hands, has some green loom. You do have these little dots, these little loom pips on the outer edge of each numeral or indice. That's your loom, your, your hands and those outer dots. So not a ton of loom at all. You can see the 710 case is quite small, uh, but it's mated to a rather large uh, screw down crown. And that crown we'll talk about here in a second. But talking about the case, it is a 39 millimeter case, 46 millimeter lug to lug. So fits pretty much like a mid-century watch. It has a 15 millimeter stack height, mainly due to the bubbled plastic crystal and an 18 millimeter lug width, which, you know, 18 millimeters are getting more and more rare. But again, that vintage aesthetic of 18 millimeters works really well. You can still find these things for $100 or less. The Zizu dial is getting more difficult. It is made by the official supplier of the Defense Department of the old Soviet Union and now the current modern Russian army, which is pretty cool, although 
the uh, current conflict is making it a little less cool. But I still wanted to do this video anyway, mainly because of the movie connection and the fact that this is a watch I've personally owned and just think it's really, really cool. Uh, we get back to that movie. It was distributed by Walt Disney and Touchstone Pictures back in 2004. It is a quirky film, being a Wes Anderson film. Uh, it is a comedy. It's marketed as an action comedy. It's just very Wes Anderson. So I would highly recommend if you like Bill Murray or Jeff Goldblum or William Dafoe or any of those guys to definitely check it out. Uh, but getting to this dial, you can see it is a marine dial. You do have your um, anchor as well as the ship's um, navigation wheel on the dial. Uh, markers for 2, 4, 8, and 10. Indices for the other time numerals. Uh, 31 joule, as I mentioned before. Um, highly accurate, or at least the one I had was very accurate. These are not highly finished movements. Um, they're, they're pretty low-grade finish if you open the case back. The case back is actually two-piece. It's a case back and a metal seal. And as you go deeper into the water with this diver you have that that metal expand and tighten that case back even tighter so it's actually a really cool design 200 meter water resistance for it so it is a true diver uh, as you go deeper actually that plastic crystal also does a similar thing it will expand and contract depending on the amount of helium and hydrogen that it undertakes so you don't need to have a helium escape valve and that crown is actually designed with a little bit of wobble so once you screw it out uh, the crown feels like it's loose on the winding stem but that is on purpose so if you knock the crown it does have a little play so it won't just break the winding stem i found that pretty interesting a really simple three o'clock date window there's no trim it's just sort of a cutout with a simple white date wheel with black numerals all in all this is a dive watch built to be a dive watch it's not built to be necessarily very aesthetically pleasing it's not built to be a luxury watch it's built to get the job done and i find that really awesome i like that one of my favorite comedians wore it in this movie i enjoyed the movie Definitely check the movie out if you like Bill, Bill Murray. Uh, it's available on Steel. It's also available on NATO's. And then you can also find it, although a little more difficult, on the rubber. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, they all come in a very, very simple Vostok case. Guys, let me know what you think. Did you like the movie? Do you like the watch? Let me know. Till next time, peace.